lower sag, make a right on eight mile, and take eight mile all the way down. That's yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, and then we just keep, and then once we go there, we just keep going until we get to that spot, like right <laughs> oh. before it, it curves and goes into that other road. And then just pull over there. <laughs> Hello Creeplings! Lupus Creepus is back once again with the newest season of Will It Kill Me? And this time we are checking out a real haunted location with Stockton's haunted East 8 Mile Road that happens to have the classic Woman in White legend. If you don't know the Woman in White legend, it goes something like this. You're driving along a road late at night. There's no lights or anything, nobody else around, and you happen to see a woman walking, wearing all white. Usually the story goes is that the person will pick her up, take her home, or something like that, and then she'll end up disappearing, or, even more sinisterly, killing the driver. Well, we're checking out a road that happens to have one of these legends, and it is a creepy one, because you don't have to stop to pick her up. According to the stories, if you drive along the road and you see her and just pass her by, you check out your uh, rear view mirror, she'll be sitting in your back seat. Sure. Uh, I was gonna roll up a, a, a huh? King Pong. Yeah, King Pong. Yeah, we're gonna call. For sure. Hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, I wanna get you guys too. But, like we're doing this whole like, <laughs> Ghost shit, but I'm so like in my own world right now. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm not. That <laughs> 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 I'm not even like. I saw that. I don't even care about none of these ghosts right now. None, like yeah. you would think I'd be tripping off the ghosts, but like I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'm like chilling. Like the ghosts but will do know. the ghost stuff. Oh, I'll be me. Oh, it's me. I'm the problem. Oh, now I'm knowing that they hate it. Pika got me faded. Feel like I'm in the matrix. She told me I should stop, but I'm still intoxicated. Hop out on the block, I'm blowing dope. He getting faded lately. Shout out to my bro, he got them bitches going crazy. Yeah, hey, ballin' bitch, I'm feeling like I'm baby. Yeah, hey, stock in California, that's what made me. Yeah, hey, 100 ain't nothing that could change me. Yeah. That's probably why your girlfriend let her hate me. Pull it up with the pump. Songs that'll make you suck. Drugs always keep me numb. Wake up in the morning just to pop some. Bitches fuck the population. Stay tuned, you fucking macaronis. Hi, Hunter. How's it going? <laughs> hey. Okay, what are we doing? What are we going out to go do now, Al? We are going inside this forest, a lot of trees thingy. I don't know. And we're going to play the Ouija board and fuck around. Hey, let's go. Recording nothing. <laughs> There's this dude talk. at my work on oh. TV on that Christian channel, and yeah. he was talking about the New Age movement and the occult and stuff, and how he thought he was actually doing God's work with the whole idea of the um, like law of attraction stuff yeah. like that, some basic stuff. And he was basically spreading that word, which is something that like a lot of our the people that we look up to in the industry not music industry but like tv industry the media industry like ofra stuff like mm -hmm. that they're all following the same type of a cult like this yeah. this these ideas that like the law of attraction works in a type of way that's that's in a way you're actually only doing god's work but it's you're actually following not satan himself but you're like letting yourself closer Indeed. to yeah. that type of stuff so he was saying that he was in that so deep that when he started to realize that it wasn't like God he was following mm -hmm. and he tried to like get out and he repented and everything that like 
demons started getting on him and everything and they would lift him out of his body while he was asleep on some astral projection type stuff and he would be just like just stuck there and that's the same thing that a bunch of other types of people had testimonies about yeah. saying that they were in that stuff and when they tried to get out the devil didn't want them out so I feel it's that. just some it's some weird stuff <laughs> i was like i, I just walk in like, I, like I don't give a fuck that there's no light we're lighting sage I don't wanna be go. safe be safe you know i don't want to go then. super far in i'm just a prospector yeah, I'm gonna be smoking some weed nice. on the side. Honestly, I'm watching what's happening. People. I'm not really with it, but I like watching it. <laughs> so if y'all like being high and watching some spooky shit, this some real ass shit. Like y'all are witnessing some real ass. Sh I'm on shrooms. <laughs> this is happening right now. Everything's happening. <laughs> this is some crazy shit. To be self-aware about this is so such a trip. Okay, so should we? You know how to light it? Yeah. Should we do okay, it right here? Good. Good. It just keeps going out. Where how are you? I'm a 20 year old man. <laughs> this is such, but you know, we're making memories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is so great. This is like, honestly. Dude, I'm gonna go to church tomorrow morning and be like, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let's do it right here. This isn't too far. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. We're like, we could, like, there's a monster. Where's the, um, the notebook? I got another. Look at that. Who has the notebook? That's a shrooms ass lighter right there. Yes, sir. Is there one on the board? Yeah, there's one right there. Nice. Not on the board. Oh, my bad. Dude, what are you doing? Imagine You're someone's... calling attention. <laughs> imagine someone this is so like. This. Imagine someone else's view of this right exactly. now. Exactly. That'd be crazy. Can you say that one more time? Well, Eric can be the only one talking. You know, no one else can be talking. Everyone else has to be silent. We can't laugh or make jokes about this because yeah. I mean, you, know, you gotta take this serious. Yeah, sure. I don't need your light real quick. Hmm? So you're just gonna here hold on to this. Hey, and then turn it on like Get that. Get them shots. And then there's how you take the pictures. Sorry. No, you're gonna, my humor is a defense mechanism. Just, you know, I get like that. Because <laughs> the uh, camera lens but has to turn the mic. Alright, here. I'm on side. Thank you, sir. Hey. I'm gonna add all this. Like, if someone wants to watch through this, nice. they can. I'm gonna, of course, make it kind of add some music, maybe. Ooh, I'm gonna add some music oh, okay. right <laughs> now. So it is like. Maybe try Luigi, are you there? Luigi, are you there? Luigi, are you there? Mm -hmm. There's also in the warm up that's like you say it three times. Mm -hmm. So you could also say that. Okay, what are the questions should I ask? Like, if I get anything? And sorry, my hands were a little shaky. No, it's but... okay, mine too. Yeah, sometimes, like, after so long, my hands just kind of get it. Yeah, so like that little tiny bit of it moving was. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, we can try again right now a little bit. Let's give it a second. Yeah. Let's not <laughs> give it a moment. Let's not rush it. it right yeah. Now. Oh, we shouldn't leave it on there uh, okay. ever. Yeah. I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, we'll give you well, ghosts. Let's blow out the Spirits. candles okay. and give it like <laughs> half an hour to an hour. They're just okay. chilling. They're like just watching. I get it. Y'all need some energy. <laughs> Should we I mean, blow like... energy. <laughs> <laughs> Should we blow out the candles? Oh my god. So we're gonna come back in like what time is it? What time is it? <coughs> it's eleven twenty-four. We're gonna come back in like half an hour or an hour. Because I just signed up. We'll see. Like, we'll see. <laughs> Oh, look at that ghost. I mean, smell it. Watch this. Nice. We're going back into it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey. This is a good ass fucking. What kind of. It's a birthday. What kind of. <laughs> what? I don't even know. You know? You know? This is what happens. This is what happens. This is what happens when you live in Stockton <laughs> and you have a 20th birthday. <laughs> you come out to eight mile and walk the floor. And look like tweets. Yep. Show it off that merch. <laughs> <laughs> evil spirits, evil spirits, buy this merch. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a few days later, like two days. And uh, something funny actually happened. Cause like, I wasn't really tripping about any ghost stuff or anything like that, but Jen actually told me as a little behind the scenes. What'd you tell me? Jen said that she was like, she was getting worried while we were just like out and about and gone at eight mile. And I come back and she's like, and that she was saying some stuff that she was like really freaked out she was afraid and i was like why are you freaked out and then she was like i saw like someone in the rear view mirror well we're checking out a road that happens to have one of these legends and it is a creepy one because you don't have to stop to pick her up according to the stories if you drive along the road and you see her and just pass her by you check out your uh, rear view mirror She'll be sitting in your back seat. So me and it was me and Monique just chilling in the car. Everybody else was out doing their own thing, and um, I was already feeling creeped out because I don't play with like ghost crap or anything like that. Just, yeah, she stayed in the car the whole time. I hate it. I hate it. And so I would constantly like check the mirrors and like be aware of my surroundings, and I kept looking in my rearview mirror. 
and uh, I was in the driver's side seat and uh, there was one time where they were like super far into this field where I couldn't see them at all and Monique was asleep. I was the only one awake and like conscious I guess in the car and uh, I happened to glance in my rear view mirror and in the seat behind me. Mm. Like in the rear view mirror, I just saw like a face. I didn't bother to look at all. I didn't want to like, I didn't want to turn around. I just, I got chills, saw the face and I looked away. And, and I came back and basically just brushed it off because I was like, listen, I'm on shrooms right now. This is crazy. I'm not worried about no ghosts, which yeah. I was and, down here in tears. I was so scared. And this was after I went back and found the clip where he says this. She'll be sitting in your back seat. And drawing those things, those two things together really tripped me out. And I told Jen about it after the fact and everyone about it after the fact. So that's kind of creepy. But other than that, that was pretty much the only like creepy, creepy thing that happened. I saw my eyeball drip. That was crazy. Uh... I started thinking some weird stuff with Larry when Larry was talking about some weird stuff. But that's about it. Good times most of the time around. So I can't recommend it to you, but uh, hey, you know, you gotta live your life. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day. <laughs> to fly with prey as heavy as a monkey, it must build enough muscle to become the most powerful.